Hey everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Builderall team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through on how you can deliver your training in an e-learning area. And then we're going to take a code from your e-learning area and add it to your physical website. So here we are inside the Create Your Course. Now, I've jumped ahead a little bit, so let me scroll down to the specific e-learning module that we're going to be adding to the website here. So I'm going to go in and go to Edit Course. Now when you first start off, all you do is just simply go through each area and fill it out. So it'll ask you for an image, it'll ask you for the name of your course, and again you can go in here and add the description of your course and all of the other bells and whistles that make an actual module come to life. Now down here is the category, translation, and as you go down here, this is what's going to be super important. You're going to want to go down here and add your instructor and add a photo of your instructor, their expertise. And this is the critical part here. Now, you can do one of two things. You can have a prepaid course where people go through your super checkout and actually pay for the course, or you can elect to set this up as a free course. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make it a free course. Um, pretty easy to do just to add it to super checkout. Um, but this is going to be a free course. So all you have to do under registration and protection is select here. Some lessons require registration. Okay. And then here are the other options. Here's registration not required to view content, registration required to view content, and some lessons require registration. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. If registration is required, non-registered users will be able to see only course description. So we are going to leave uh, it as is, just as I mentioned. And then down here is closed registration. If registration is disabled, no users can sign up for your course, okay, um, using the standard registration form. But they can continue to buy your course through checkout if configured, okay. And here we have social proof integration where you can actually go in and add your social proof. And here is the um, link or URL that you want them to navigate when they do log out of your course and they're done taking your course. So you can maybe uh, send them to a different course. You can send them to another funnel. You can send them anywhere you'd like to send them. Okay. And then you can also uh, set up a custom registration URL, which we're going to just kind of keep this basic. And I'm going to just really show you how easy it is to just attach this e-learning course to your actual physical website and just get things rolling. Okay, so now what we're going to do now is everything seems to be set up. The one thing I have not set up is modules and lessons. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And the first module, I'm going to title Warm Up. Okay, same thing for description. Create module. And then right down here next to the actual module, you can actually add a lesson. Okay. So here I'm going to do stretching. You can go into content and add a YouTube video. You can set the next action to a drip. You can add links, you can add files, and you can actually do a test at the end of each lesson as well as at the end of each module and as well as the end of each course. So we're going to go ahead and just um, select create lesson. So now we have one module, one lesson, and that's good enough to get us started. Okay, you can actually go in here and also go to knowledgebase.buildraw.com and search e-learning and you can get a more in depth on how to set up and um, get your e-learning courses going. Okay, so now what we want to do is if we hadn't already, is select save and now let's go take a look at the preview here real quick just to see what we've got so this is what your students will see okay they'll have a login and there'll be a registration page you can do everything off of this page right here you could just share this link if you'd like but instead what we want to do is we want to embed this link okay so let's go back into the actual e-learning go to embed code and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the direct link. I'm going to copy paste this link and let's go into Cheetah. So here's my Cheetah landing page. 
okay, where they will arrive. And once my site visitor arrives here, they may be well aware of the uh, learning modules. What they could do is they could just click on modules and it will take them right to that specific page. Okay. All right, so next let's go here and let's head over to the modules page. Okay, so now here we are inside the modules page. Okay, and what this was, was this was obviously a different page, right? So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to uh, close this up here. I'm going to delete that right there. And then I'm gonna push this down here. And let me go ahead and erase remove this here as well as remove that there and now what we're going to want to do here on the modules page is we're going to want to go in here select elements and then bring in an iframe so we're going to drag the iframe into our panel okay now we're going to right click on that iframe and it will be indicated that the element has been selected okay we're going to select general settings there by clicking on the general settings and the drop down will open up. And here's the embed URL that we are receiving from the e-learning embed your course link. Okay. So let's go right back in here and do that. And now you should see the actual, oops. Yeah. Let's go ahead and scroll this, move this down again, make this, larger and so let's go ahead and grab that there and then just pull this down give us some room and I like to pull this all the way down here so that everything is displayed correctly on the actual course and that should be enough room right there okay so now I want to go ahead and just close that up just to kind of see how this is laying out. All right, so it looks like I just need to widen this up a little bit. So I'm going to drag this over a little bit and then go down to the very bottom. I'm going to click down here in this corner and then just open that up a little bit. Okay. Now as I scroll back up, now it's looking a lot like the way I want it to look. Okay, so let me go ahead and save. Click that's fine. And we're going to go to the website. So here's the website again. Now your site visitor will click on modules, right? And then it will take them to their e-learning course to get started. They can go here to register, enter their information. to create account now once I've created the account looks like I'm set it gives me the option to go in here and upload my own profile info and then I can start going in here and navigating by going to the very first lesson and there you go and that's how you deliver your training in an e-learning area I hope you found the content in this video helpful until next time I'm Frank Jimenez with the Budrol team Thank <laughs> you.